Hey, what's up, people? This is Craig with Crying Jags Music. Uh, this here is Reggie. Reggie, say hi to all the people. Okay, if you're wondering what Crying Jags means, it means nothing. It's just something that I came up with. Um, this is my first guitar tutorial, so bear with me. Um, I must note that I am 100% self-taught. No lessons. Thank you very much, Pop. Um, and my first uh, tutorial is going to be Disarmed by Smashing Pumpkins. Um, one of the first songs that I ever learned. Um, and one of my favorite songs, probably from that grunge uh, era. Um, so the song itself uh, is basically centered around four chords, okay? Um, you have your E minor seven. You have your C add nine. You have your full G. You have your F sharp over G. You have a D major. You have an E minor, and then you have what's called a G over C. All right, and I'll go over these piece by piece. And I think because I'm self-taught, this might help, might help everyone from a beginner to advanced, because there's a couple little tricks that Corgan does that um, I didn't understand at first, and as I became a better musician, I, I kind of uh, figured them out. So anyway, the song itself, like I said, is the chord progressions are pretty simple, and you're really staying between these first three frets. You're not really moving up and down like some of the other songs where you know you have your pumpkin chord and you're sliding and whatever. All right, you're really staying between these, these three frets, and your fingers don't really change position much. What makes the song difficult is the tempo. So it's recorded somewhere between 128 and 130 beats per minute. And also the strumming pattern. It's all down strokes, right, which are eighth notes. And there's a bunch of 16th notes thrown in there. I'm sorry, buddy. On a few of the chord transitions. And what a 16th note is this. One, two, three. Um, by the way, the for anyone who gives a shit, the uh, the key is in E minor. I'm gonna take my beautiful face out of the frame for a little bit so that I can show you these chords piece by piece. Okay, so the first chord is an E minor seven. So basically, what I'm gonna do is um, I usually start with my um, ring finger um, third fret on the B string. Then I'm gonna take my uh, index finger and my middle finger, all right? So it's index finger, second fret, um, A string, and my middle finger goes right below it, um, second fret, D string, all right? So it's this. And I let it ring, all six strings, all right? The next chord is a C add nine. So I'm keeping my ring finger on the B string, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm taking my middle finger, I'm going third fret A string, and then I'm taking my index finger and I'm going second fret D string. I'm gonna mute the low E and I let the rest ring. Okay, then the next chord is a full G, which I call a full G because there's all different kinds of Gs. Um, so basically I'm, I'm, I'm on the C at nine. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm taking my um, middle finger and my my pointer, my index finger, and I'm moving them down, all right? So in guitar terminology, you're going from high to low. You're going from high, sorry, high to low. So technically I'm moving up, but I mean, I'm moving up, but technically I'm moving down, right? Um, so I'm, I'm taking my C at nine. I'm just taking my two fingers and I'm just moving them down, right? So I'm taking my middle finger, I'm going third fret, low E, and I'm going um, pointer finger, index finger, um, second fret, A string. Then I'm taking, I'm leaving my um, ring finger on the B string and I'm taking my little pinky and I'm putting it on the third fret, high E string, and I'm letting it all six strings ring. Okay. Next chord is what you call an F sharp over G. So I'm keeping my um, ring finger and my pinky in the same spot, and all I'm doing is I'm removing my um, middle finger and index finger, I'm taking my index finger, and I'm putting it third fret, um, low E string. 
Now, some people play like a, a D suspended four with the F. You can, uh, Corgan doesn't, all right? Uh, at least on the recording and, and, and most live performance I've, I've seen, he doesn't do this, he's just literally doing this and he's letting all six strings ring, right? And basically what he's doing is he's walking down from the G back to the E minor seven, okay? Um, so you have your E minor seven, C at nine, G, F sharp over G, okay? Then you have um, a D major, right? So it's basically, you're taking your index finger, your pointer, all right? You're going second fret, uh, G string, you're going um, ring finger, third fret, B string, and then you're taking your middle finger, um, second fret, high E string. Now I should note that at least from what I hear in the in the recording, he's not really letting that high um, E, which is an F sharp, he's not really letting it ring. I don't know if he's muting it, but he he might just be hitting it softly. So you're not hearing this. It's more of a. So he's really hitting the uh, um, D G B strings, and maybe subtly hitting the high E. Right? And then the next chord is what I call, uh, what they call a G over C. So you have your C chord, right? Which is your um, ring finger, third fret, A string, um, middle finger, second fret, D string, and then your index finger, first fret, um, B string, like this. But what Corgan's doing, he's taking his um, ring finger and he's putting it on third fret, um, low E string, and he's taking his little pinky and he's putting it right underneath third fret on the A string, and you're gonna get this. So if I were to remove my um, ring finger, you'd hear just a regular C. But he's playing that G along with it, which creates this ominous type of sound, which I think Corgan was going for, which he effectively achieved, okay? So without further ado, um, I will play the song. I'm gonna try to do it nice and slow. It's hard to do slow, but I am going to try to break it down. Now, I should let you know, um, there's actually um, a video on YouTube um, that you could search. Just search for um, Disarm Acoustic, and it basically all it does, it, it strips away the acoustic guitar, so you're left with just the beautiful arrangement and the voice. Uh, and Corgan's voice. It's really cool. Um, so you don't hear the acoustic guitar at all. So I should note that the first um, note, that E minor seven, is actually an electric guitar. And then Corgan comes in with his acoustic guitar. So it sounds something th like this. An electric guitar does this. And then Corgan comes in. I'm trying to slow this down, guys. All right, now, there's a little trick that I discovered later, right? Um, and what Corgan does is when he switches from his E minor seven to a C at nine, he actually um, pulls and hammers, right? So it's, it sounds like this. Right, so if you were to listen to like the bass, it would go something, something like this. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to try this slow. It's very difficult because um, I'm used to playing it at, at um, its, its normal speed, but I'm going to give it a shot. So it goes like this. Yes, 
Turn. Now right here, there's a little pause. That's C over G. A G over C. And just listen to the recording to hear those transitions. Um, you'll get it after a while. I used to be a little boy. E minor. So old in my shoes. G over C. is my choice what's a boy supposed to do killer in me is the killer in you my love I send this smile over you pause slight strumming strum E minor D now when he transitions back from the D to the C, it's not a G over C. He goes from D to C at nine, which um, you could transition very easily to the E minor seven. Now, another thing that I should note is that when he, when he transitions, he's hitting the full chord, like all six strings, but most of it is very um, slight strumming, very, very soft. So he's going slight then a hard, soft, hard, soft, soft, hard, hard, soft, all right. I send this smile over to you. Now we go C at nine. Now it starts picking up. I'll keep it slow. Disarm you with a smile. And leave you like they left me here. To where they're ending now. The bitterness of one who's left alone. Burn. Oh, the years burn, burn, burn. I used to be a little boy, E minor, so oh, D in my shoes. G over C. Choose is my voice, E minor. What's a boy D supposed to do? G over C. Killer in me is the killer in you, E minor. My loud D. G over C. I send this smile over. Now, when he says I send this smile over to you, so he's going, um, Killer in me is the killer in you, E minor. To D. When he says, I send this smile over to you, he goes D to E minor, right? So it's, I send this smile over to you. Killer in me is the killer in you. Send this smile over to you. Killer in me is the killer in you. Send this smile over to you. Killer in me is the killer in you. Send this smile over to you, D, E minor, D, E minor, D, E minor, and finish with your G over C. So that's it. That's uh, my first tutorial. I hope everyone enjoyed it. It was very nerve wracking for me. Um, any questions, comments, sarcastic remarks, leave them in the comment section or any requests. I'll give it a shot. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I did. Take care.